Hi again and welcome to part 2 of our honeymoon in Maldives. We are now being taken to this private sandbank which is totally remote, just us for 2 hours. Pristine, so clean and beautiful. And they've set up a beautiful dinner for us. Early dinner because it's about 5 o'clock at this point. The whole picnic setup is just so thoughtful. Uh, we chose the menu beforehand and they brought on some cold drinks with an S key. two change of clothes one is a bikini with a white flowing cover-up which is it looks so beautiful um, I feel beautiful in it and also a white satin a very comfortable dinner dress I was just thinking about all the movie scenes that I've seen or all the episodes of The Bachelor because we both watch them and how I can't believe that it's us leaving it now Swimming here with the warm water and the soft sand really feels like uh, you're being cuddled by nature and it feels perfect. And this is actually the dance that we did on our wedding and the only dance that we know how to do as a couple so wherever we found a nice spot we're like let's do the dance and this is the next day where we are moving from a beach villa to an over the water bungalow which is the signature maldivian experience Inside is just so perfect, like it's furnished so beautifully with very high quality. We feel so at home and just look at this view. weather is also just perfect maybe around 25 26 degrees slightly warm um, very comfortable The water is just too inviting and I couldn't wait to jump in and swim. I was quite surprised that actually the water is a bit cold. Um, or maybe it's the time of day. Uh, if I had jumped in at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, maybe it would have been warmer. But 
it was just a little bit cold but then of course once you get in you don't feel it anymore I forgot all my swimming <laughs> I was scared of um, being in the sun but actually you don't feel the sun at all Swimming, uh, we watched the sunset from the comfort of our villa. We are back at Kurakali for dinner, and as always, we are being spoiled with choices. them having a good time as well like there's a lot of couples and there's a lot of families now um, I'm gonna try to jump in because um, I tried how deep it is and it's actually deeper than my height in and out of water again we had buffet breakfast and lunch what a tropical heavenly routine this is <laughs> we find that the best way to enjoy being in the water without getting a mouthful of salt is to sit on the life jackets and just float around It's a special evening tonight as my very talented husband Patrick will be performing for all the lovely guests and staff at Fushifaru. coconut drink station, canapes, children playing, all around you, you can feel that there's lots of love in the air. It was an all-around amazing tropical sunset soiree. Everyone really loved the performance, myself included. not actually as sunny as the other days and we didn't do any special excursions today we were just happy chilling around the resort and stare at the water and this was the last sunset of the honeymoon we decided to hang out in the infinity pool I find sunsets are the best time to fill yourself up with gratitude for everything that you have in your life the person that you've become, the majestic beauty of nature, and even better if you have a loved one to share it with, some dearest friends, family, or partner. I can say that all my dreams have come true at this point in my life, both in personal, professional, and in feeling secure in my life. Therefore, I feel immense gratitude, and I hope to share these blissful vibes with you through my channel. Choosing me as your forever queen. Aww.
This has been a honeymoon that's better than my dreams and we are continuing our trip to Bali for the next 12 days and after a short break in Melbourne we will be back to enjoy our honey year or honey life in Europe I'm on my Instagram more regularly and I upload lots of stories when I'm traveling especially so make sure you add me on there too and we can connect the next day it's time for us to leave but we know we'll be back to Maldives again next year and at least now we're very familiar with how this part of the world works next time there'll be less guessing games so we can optimize our travel here more and now after being here makes you feel elevated and makes you feel not afraid to want and to dream and see you soon take care